Hello and welcome to this LGP video tutorial. This video tutorial has been designed to introduce and explain the new approved contractor self-service software that has been integrated into the LGP reporting gateway. This latest update enables LGP approved contractors to administer updates and changes to their key contacts within the reporting portal. Some benefits of the latest update include the solution is embedded into the existing LGP reporting gateway, allowing for ease of access. A user-friendly interface to ensure updating and managing contacts is made easy for all users. And real-time updates to ensure that there are no missed opportunities due to outdated information. If you are an LGP approved contractor and don't yet have access to the reporting gateway, you can request this through reaching out to suppliers at lgp.org.au. Logging into the reporting gateway, approved contractors will now be able to assign their organization's key contacts to three primary roles. We have a primary contact is the point of contact between your company and LGP, and this person will understand the obligations and workings of the LGP contract. The reporting contact is the point of contact who will receive notifications about reporting obligations and report sales activity through the LGP contract. And thirdly is the invoicing contact. This point of contact will receive any invoices. This may be someone in your AP department who may be different to the reporting contact. Looking first at updating key contacts, you'll see here from within the reporting gateway, you have the LGP contract number, the commencement date, and then three points of contact from your organization. We can see here as the primary, we have Jane Doe, reporting John Doe, and then invoicing once again, Jane Doe. In order to update these contacts, we will select update key contacts, and you can then have the option to alter and change who the primary contact is, who the reporting contact is, and then also who the invoicing contact is. Saving those changes and going back to the reporting gateway, we can see that those changes have now been actioned. Looking now at either removing existing or creating new contacts within the supplier reporting gateway, you can scroll down to the bottom of the page and locate manage existing contacts. In order to create a new contact, selecting the Create New Contact button. You will then be required to fill in all of the fields allocated to that contact that you're adding. Once you've filled in the details, select Save and you can then head back to the supplier reporting gateway. Scrolling down, you can see that that recently added contact is now visible in the list of existing contacts. In order to remove any existing contacts, simply head over to the action row and select remove next to the contact that you would like gone. You can now see that that contact has been removed within real time. This solution is now live on the LGP reporting gateway for approved contractors. Thank you for watching this tutorial and for any further questions, please reach out to suppliers at lgp.org.au.